Hello, I'm Louise Ross and I'm the chair of the New Nicotine Alliance. The WHO meeting this year in Panama is about um, things that countries internationally can do to eradicate the problems of smoking. The trouble is this meeting also takes a very hostile view of reduced risk products such as vapes particularly um, and, and other things such as nicotine pouches and heated tobacco products. It's really important to understand that this meeting could lead to a complete ban on certain aspects of, of vaping. I'm going to talk about vaping in particular. So um, the WHO are trying to push through a ban on flavours, a ban on tank systems. They're trying to reclassify vaping as smoking, um, which, which will be devastating for tobacco harm reduction, particularly in countries that have worked very hard to uh, enable people to use reduced risk products. I'd like to encourage anybody who's a consumer, so a user of, of reduced risk products, or their friends and family, uh, people who work in stop smoking service, for instance, or healthcare professionals who care about making sure that reduced risk products are available to people who would have been smoking otherwise, and researchers who are looking at or engaged in studies that compare um, the, the use of, of vaping products with, with smoking and, and show that there's a substantial difference. I'd encourage anybody who has any interest in this field to, uh, to protest about this, to write to your MP um, and you can use They Work For You. Just look up for the website and it's very easy to send a very simple message um, to, to raise this. Um, we, we need to make sure that before the COP10 meeting, MPs have really heard the message that we support in this country, we support reduced risk products so that people don't have to go back to smoking. Keep it polite, keep it simple. If you can talk about your personal experience, that would be really, really helpful because it's personal stories that make more of a difference than, than quoting a lot of statistics. Make it personal and uh, let your MP know. If we leave it too late, it will cause irreparable damage to the, the, the cause of tobacco harm reduction. So every country, um, if, if this, this motion from WHO is passed, every country that signed up to the Framework Convention on Tobacco Control will have to abide by it. So there won't be any way of opting out. So we won't be able in the UK to say, well, we're all right because our government support it. We will be tied into this destruction of tobacco harm reduction and we don't want to see it, we don't think you want to see it either. On the New Nicotine Alliance website there's a lot of detail firstly about what COP10 is about, what the risks are, what you can do about it um, and the effect that this could have if, if it gets passed. It could be devastating to the tobacco harm reduction efforts that the UK and a lot of other countries have been trying to make over the last few years.